What up? Jeff here with all my Bitcoin renegades. And today we're going to be talking about um, what Bitcoin has been doing lately and exactly why. And is that about to change here soon? And I actually think it is going to. So um, I'm actually out in the sunlight today instead of in my apartment. You can see I'm at my family's house I'm doing the barbecue. I did put a little video earlier letting you guys know what I was doing. Um, but while I was sitting here with my family, I noticed this. So it's talking about the two Bitcoin charts that show how confused crypto traders feel right now. And short term bearish, long term bullish. Where the price of Bitcoin goes next seems to depend now on long traders um, and how long traders are willing to wait according to these charts. And what that means is basically just how long you're willing to hodl your Bitcoin, right? So if you bought in at 10,000, you're still in the profit a lot. So why would you sell at 30,000 now if we still have not seen a blow off top or any of the indicators that say that we are in a bear market for sure? So that's where the discrepancy is. Some people say we're in a bear market and most of the investors right now still believe we are in a bull market. And that's what I believe too. So let's get into this. Um, if you feel confused over what the price of Bitcoin is doing right now, you're not alone. The pros can't even make up their minds. So while Bitcoin has fallen over 50% since April, many investors still refuse to believe we've entered a bear market with venture capitalists investing billions of dollars into the crypto market and new tech products constantly being developed by the industry. Bullish vibes refuse to die. So everybody is still calling for a bull market, at least the smart people, the big money, the billions of industrial, you know, corporate money. That's who you want to follow. You don't want to follow the weak hands, the paper hands of the day trade, right? They're just trying to make money overnight. They're trying to make millions overnight. They're not trying to invest for the long term for their future. And that's what we're doing here on this channel. So, um, but if more banks are now offering Bitcoin trading options and more firms are buying up Bitcoin as long-term investments or hedges against inflation, then why isn't the price going up? And so um, there was a guy that was on George um, from Cryptos R Us the other day who was actually talking about this. I heard him talk about it on his channel. I don't remember his name. I will shout out in the description below the guy. Um, I can't remember his name right off top right now. Um... But, oh, he was saying that, um, you know, these corporations and billions of dollars, they're buying this Bitcoin basically over the counter. Um, so what that means is they're not buying it off of the exchanges that fluctuate the price. They're buying it from individuals at a large rate. And so when you buy it from somebody who is already holding it, it doesn't affect the, the price. So the price stays the same, but these people accumulate at these levels. And then that's when you start to see the price rising and they make all that money because they did it in secret. If you knew that people were buying billions and billions of dollars worth of Bitcoin, you would also buy and be able to make the money. So they get in before you. That's what institutional investors do. That's why when the boat leaves and they miss it on a product like Bitcoin, it comes back for them. And this is the barge in reverse right now. So unless we break that $28,000, 800 level, I refuse to believe we're in a bear market. And so do most of the smart investors in the world right now. So even seasoned crypto traders are scratching their heads, but the answer to where Bitcoin goes next could just depend on how long you're willing to wait, according to these two charts. So the first chart they're talking about, um, investors expect Bitcoin to go to 20K by the EOY end of year. So I don't believe this. Um, it is possible if we get a giant run up to about 100,000 and then have a blow off top, we could end up seeing 20K. Yeah, because that's the last all time high that we had in 2017. So that's actually what I said in my previous videos about where we could end up after um, this bull market is over. But it's not over right now. I'm telling you that. 
So according to data found from analytics provider and recent Coinbase acquisition, SKU, Bitcoin options traders are very active in the $20,000 and $22,000 zone by December 2021. So they think basically they're betting money that Bitcoin is going to go to $20,000 by December and they're putting their money where their mouth is. But... When you have people like Elon Musk, you have people like Michael Saylor from MicroStrategy, you have Kathy Woods from ARK, you know, Jack Dorsey from Twitter, all talking about Bitcoin, all putting billions of dollars into it. And we're still at the level that we were when we first started the bull rally. So we, until we drop below that and break through from that channel, um, there's no way that I, I refuse to believe we're in a bear market. So, and this chart, these charts are saying that, you know, people are putting money saying that it is going to go down by December. So if that happens, the only way I can see that happening is if we get a giant blow off top, like I said. So, um, when big, when buying a Bitcoin option contract, the trader is betting that Bitcoin will hit a certain price by a specified date at that date. Um, as that date approaches, the trader must decide whether to exercise this option sell the option or simply do nothing and let it expire and right now the most active price point for these contracts predicts that bitcoin will drop to twenty thousand, which means that traders are expecting more pain over the next few months and this is just fud guys so i like decrypt and everything and they have a lot of good articles but right now they're spreading fud fear uncertainty and doubt and these are bearish people they have probably a short position in on one of the leverage exchanges and like i said a lot of these people are betting bitcoin down to twenty thousand. so this isn't too far off um from what people think are happening and you know i don't agree with it though so this is um let's see this is paradigm right here monster prints from early this morning on paradigm um and yeah so these are the the actual puts on there and i believe yes this was the tweet about them so december 31st uh 22k puts trading at 500 times leverage bc wow is that what that means 500 times leverage or 500 i don't know what that means but um yeah Basically, they're saying that um, they want Bitcoin to go to that price and they think it's going to and they're putting money. I don't know if that's 500 times leverage or not, but um, impossible to get liquidity on demand for this kind of size directly on the order book. <clears throat> so, yeah, so these are the actual orders that were put in right here that's on the tweet. That's kind of cool. Yeah, some of them are like 200 times leverage or the spread or whatever that is. Um, there's a lot of money there though, but I would put money saying that Bitcoin's going to 40, 50, 60,000 again. And I'm actually doing that because I'm holding, you know, a quarter of a Bitcoin myself. So I'm betting in the future that Bitcoin goes up or else I would sell it now to, you know, stop further losses, but I'm not going to do that because I'm a very strategic investor. And if I have to, I'll wait four years. If something happens, you know, like Bitcoin crashes and we go into a bear market for sure, I'm just going to hold through it. That's my strategy. <clears throat> so, and if you're smart, that would be your strategy too. Cause nobody has lost money that has held Bitcoin for four years. It's a cyclical coin and there's no way that you can lose if you hold it for that long. Nobody ever has. And four years ago, you could have bought in and sold it at 20,000. Well, now it's sitting above 30,000 and people are saying we're in a bear market. We're 10,000 higher than the previous all time high, but we're in a bear market, right? Come on. <clears throat> anyway so spot trading data gives hope to long-term bulls and that's me i'm a long-term bull basically that's exactly what i just said so for those still dreaming of a happy moon ending um however the what the happy moon ending <laughs> that's pretty funny however the bitcoin spot price chart that is the current market price for one bitcoin which is like thirty thousand five hundred right now <clears throat> It um, shows a weakening of the downtrend as the weeks go by. In simple terms, while the weekly price declines this year between April and July were so big, they were scary. The price movements over the last few weeks have also been bearish, but weaker. 
So even though it's been going down, the volume and everything that has been pushing the price down, even though we're at 30,500 right now, there isn't the volume to say that we're gonna break our resistance right there. So until that happens, you know, just hold strong guys. It's not, it's not the end of the world, but it's also, you know, you're not making millions of dollars right now, but only stupid people think they're gonna be a millionaire overnight. You got to work for it just like everybody else. <clears throat> so um, those downward movements just aren't as drastic as when they started earlier this year because we did go down 50% over time. And what this means, broadly speaking, is that traders aren't in a hurry to dump their coins at these prices. And I wouldn't either, especially when most people bought it like 40,000, 50,000. And I already told you in a video popping up right here, how to mitigate your losses if you bought at that price. It's a pretty simple strategy. You do have to put more money into the market, but if you say bought at like 55,000, um, you could bring your average price down to like 35 to 40,000. So 